Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored. And definitely hope the same thing for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you give me as well as I give you. Uh, just for us being who we are, it can be a very trying task. But knowing that you're not giving up and you're here to make it to another day. You know, and that you're here for us serving a purpose. And, you know, I hope things are, you know, many blessings come your way and you flourish and you blossom. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video just gave you some good vibes, good information that you would love to pass on to somebody else who truly needs it at that time, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. So, um, I hope you're able to get something. Uh, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And thank you so much for the love and support again, once as always and today i'm listening to this beautiful meditation it's so powerful that's why i'm getting stuck on my words because i'm just like wow it gives you a euphoric feeling like everything is like oh my gosh it's just beautiful um it's called divine energy 726 hertz awakening the awakening the the divine within quantum awareness meditate yeah meditation music gosh y'all Oh, Lord. Now, posting that link. I'm poking, poking. <laughs> posting the link in the description box below. Good gosh, I'm getting tired, tongue. This, y'all, this, it gave me, I said gaze me. Gives me good vibes. I mean, it just got me so, ooh, that's powerful. I don't know, I've been sending a lot of my love bugs, like some strong, uh, meditation links. They're like, oh my gosh, these are very powerful. Oh my gosh, Rosalind, these are really helpful. So it's just like, you know, if I'm on one-on-one -on -one with you and I feel like um, I, I see, um, especially if I know you on that basis and I see something that sticks out that you, you know, it might help you along your way. You know, I always send links out to people or videos to help them to get through whatever situation they're going through. So I will post that link in the description box below. And my video is called uh, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your transformation will be something that you never imagined. Yes, it will be. It will. Y'all, please forgive me. This is like my 11th video I'm doing. Back to back to back to back. So, you know, Divine and them wanted me to do all these videos. They say, you, you're going to be able to do them? Like, yeah, anything I can do, I can put my mind to, I'm going to do it. So, you know, just like my 11 video. So if I start getting tongue-tied or whatever, just like I just did, you, now you know why. Because <laughs> this is like Saturday and I did like 11 videos back to back to back. So it's just like, oh gosh, I got so many things I want to cover and go over when I said that was 333. But um, going through all that, you know, going through these situations, it's like, especially like I say, if y'all been with me for a while, my energy shift is like off the charts. If you've been with me for like about six to eight months, things have changed so much from, you know, month five, I mean, month one, all the way until month, month six, uh, six or seven. So it's just like going through all these different changes I've been going through, y'all. It's so beautiful. Even though it can be so trying and tiring, you'll see the strength I have it within me, you know, going through so much and be able to push things out and use it as a positive platform I never imagined myself doing to know that you know even though things have tried to bring me down things have tore me up things that I never thought I could be able to process on getting out you know telling people a lot of things about myself you know I'm opening my, myself up to an uh, open book there's a lot of things that you know I'm not proud of I tell y'all about because it's just let you know nobody's perfect if you don't have a shady past or something that you you have ever done that you're not proud of and you say that you have a, you know you ain't never did anything that you ain't proud of you know I will commend you <laughs> but it's just like I always try to tell people you should never be ashamed 
of things that you went through unless it's like you know in, you know uh, assaulting a child or an adult you know uh, elderly you know then you ought to be ashamed of your daggone self but going through other things we, nobody makes mistakes I mean everybody makes mistakes but you shouldn't have to pay for those for the rest of your life and it's just like those mishaps that you had in your life you know your setbacks your mistakes uh, your issues your problems are the person that made you and built you for that person it is today and it's just like you're going through a crazy transformation right now you're going through things that you might quite not understand you know you get frustrated you want to give up you want to cry you want to punch you want to get mad you want to laugh at times you probably want to rip your own hair out probably feel like you're going crazy but knowing you had to go through all these trials and tribulations to build up that strong soldier that you you were made to be out from the first place you know you have done this before you were that billy badass back in you know you know 19 ad saying hey you know i'm gonna come back in you know 2019 and be able to you know do this you know you had to go through all those situations and it's just like when you when you know you have done so many things and it can break you down trust me i know there's days that i sit sit and look at my dad's picture and i cry i can sit up here and look at my situation and cry at times but then there's sometimes i can sit here and cry and then start laughing and say you know what girl you have came so so far you know People seen strength in you when you didn't see it in yourself. Being able to go through certain things, you have to look. I mean, I've met empaths that had never had any kind of stimuli going through the things they went through. And I said, you know what? I've never met no no empath that didn't have like a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, pill popping addiction, or, you know, sexual addiction. You know, some people can go through certain situation or have them drawn towards porn or having over excessive sex or something like that you know and it's okay because as long as you can admit this is my problem this is my problem because of the things I went through when you can accept what face your flaws and know that you we are flawed we're beautifully flawed and we know those flaws can be able when you can face your problems and know that when you can face them that's when you know you're changing because a lot of times people don't want to admit when they're wrong or admit you know when things are causing an issue in their lives you know me addicted to weed you know helped me but in the same route it was just an escape because I know it was hard to face the situations I was facing it was hard when I constantly heard other people's thoughts you know being able to blurt out things from people across the street or you know energies that was coming forth to me that was very strong and very intimidating you know that's a very special thing because you know I, I don't creep people out for the things that I know there's times I've came across people that are no longer in my life but I didn't really know them on that person you know I knew them on a personal level but not telling them about certain things in their life there's no way of me knowing you know and it, it was just their family coming out and remind them of their strength remind them that they're always there you know I, it was a blessing to be able to do stuff like that I used to get in trouble for doing stuff like that you know, my dad was like, you used to try to punish me when I can tell people about their loved ones that's coming by, you know, um, and saying certain things. They knew I wasn't lying and, you know, it just flipped them out and it all creeped my dad out. So he thought it was a mental Ill illness. So I just stopped doing it. So when I can finally, you know, uh, accept my gift and knowing it, it was helping people and not hurting them, you know, I've, I've uh, helped a lot of people with my, my medium gift. It's not like, I, you know, I've told people before, I'm not like Tyler Henry or uh, what's that other guy named? David, whatever his name is. No, John Edwards. Not like John Edwards. I'm not like, you know, Teresa Caputo or nothing like that. I don't do that on a daily basis because that takes too much energy and that can mess me up mentally. Because especially a lot of things that people have experienced, I feel like that's very intimate. You should, there are certain things that people don't want people to know. But then it puts me into perspective on why they are the way they are. And, you know, that that's a beautiful feeling, but that's a, also a curse to me at, at the same time because there's certain things that, uh, that has traumatically happened to them. They'll stick with me for a while. So that's why I tell people a lot of times, nah, I don't want to read you, you know, especially if you don't told me about part of the things you have been through and I, I can feel that there's something else there, too. I won't do it, you know, but it's just like if I know if that's going to help them 
you know, I'll sacrifice that, but it's not something I like to do every day. But there's a lot of people I've helped along the way to remind them, you know, hey, your loved ones are here, you know, anytime you get a chill or, you know, there's certain things that, you know, has been said or a certain, you know, cologne or perfume that whisk by, you know, there's time I went to a uh, court and it was something I didn't cause, a car accident I didn't even cause. And this one sweet older lady came sitting right next to me and wore the same perfume my mom used to wear every Sunday. And I burst out in tears. She was like, are you okay, sweetie? And it was just like, I, you know, I asked God, please, you know, keep, keep your hands on me. You know, this is something I didn't do. I hope I don't get charged for something I never did, you know, especially, you know, I was getting scammed for something that, you know, somebody did to me and then got away with it. And next thing you know, my mom's scent came through, and that was enough to just, like, break me down because I haven't smelled my mom's scent unless I spray the perfume myself. But just to know somebody else wore the same perfume she wore, that was validation to let me know that my mom was there with me, supporting me all the way. And that was such a beautiful thing. So it's just like when you know you have been through this thing, you know, since the first time you had the spiritual awakening. And I don't never tell somebody you just have one. You, you don't have probably about a hundred of them things. But you had all these stages you had to go through to just get where you are. And then when you finally finish going through everything, and you're going towards a goal and going towards blessings that you truly want in life. And you finally get there. It's not going to be, you know, when you know you've done a lot and it's sometimes things have been thrown in your way. It's like, you know, I used to get upset because I say all the positivity I push out, how am I going to get BS getting pushed back? You know, they always tell you what you get, when you put, push out, you get back. And sometimes I wouldn't see that. I would see more hurt than I would when I was pushing out love. And I just didn't understand that. But I had to look at it like, you know, you're going through so much and you are so strong that that darkness don't want you to see any light coming out of that. So they're going to push out negativity towards you. You're going to have to deal with crazy stuff like that. But look at the little blessings that you got along that way that you have done that you weren't paying attention to and I had to really look at it that way because I know I did some tremendous things that help a lot of people and knowing eventually all the things I've done because I, I don't I do them selflessly you know I help people out because I knew what it felt like to be walking around blind in your truth not knowing what was going on thinking I was alone in my, my myself until I started putting out videos and I got all these overwhelming subscribers and comments and you know people just tell me oh my god you know I thought I was the only one going through this and you know I really thought I was crazy until I started putting out videos you know I'm like oh my gosh I don't know how these people are gonna think of me or how they're gonna accept me they're gonna probably talk about me or think I was funny I had to get out of that that comfort zone not be intimidated don't put myself in a situation where I didn't feel confident in what I was saying because if you're not confident in what you're saying nobody else the next person ain't gonna be confident in what you're saying so when I know I was getting those validations back, that was actually helping somebody through thick and thin. I mean, that was a true blessing for me. So it's just like people, you know, I've got, you know, I've got messages. They were like, Rosalind, I can just feel how the energy is just growing with you or, you know, universe is talking through you. I can feel that strength in you. I can feel that go-getter in you. I had to do that. A lot of people get intimidated by that. A lot of people hate me for that. And that's fine. You know, but if you can't, like I tell y'all before in my other video, if you can't understand my, you can't take my 100% realness, you, I'm the wrong person you need to be talking to. Because I'm that type of person, I ain't going to tell you what you want to hear, I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And sometimes that truth ain't pretty, you know, I don't disrespect people, don't put them down, but I will tell you the truth. I'm that one that will tell you. And sometimes people can't swallow that pill called pride, so it gets on their nerves. But when we're going through certain situations, knowing it happens for a reason. Knowing we do these things because we have to go through them. Knowing we experience these things for a certain reason. You know, I can't tell you the reason why only you can do that. You know, I tell people I only can help you so much. You have to do the rest on your own. And people are so grateful when I've been able to, you know, put that into their lives. Put that in perspective for them. So when you know you're heading towards that transformation, you know you have been praying for something for so long. And then when universe sees that... You know, this is what you want and you never gave up no matter, you know, you can have been going through things, going through things. It was just like for me getting help about my father trying to get, you know, to my biological family. I used to get pissed because I always kept running into walls and the walls and the walls. And my dad finally told me in my head, you know, it's not the fact that 
anytime you try to do something to come towards me and you felt like you were getting nothing, the universe had to see that you were never giving up on what you had to go through. Yeah, my dad has passed away. No, I'm not with my biological family. But look at all the blessings I got along the way towards getting towards my biological family. Y'all went through a lot of hell. And there's days that, you know, I get frustrated and just wonder, when is my blessings coming? I can't worry about that. But when I know what I do know now, is when I know I'm heading towards something very big, big and beautiful and knowing along the way I've helped thousands and thousands of people the validation and confirmation in their lives to put understanding and peace in their hearts that was something I wasn't even prepared for I never prayed for that you know I prayed for people to you know see where I was coming from but I never knew I was gonna get all this in return so when you know you're going through a transformation of being the best version of yourself walking in your true self suit knowing it when you finally start getting blessings that's when the blessings that is not going to stop it's going to overwhelm you because all you you thought you're going to get one or two blessings god and the universe done gave you about a hundred so prepare yourself okay knowing this transformation is going to put you on a spot and a pedestal that you never thought you were going to be able to get on so i hope you are able to resonate with this video and much love to you. I don't know when this is going to come out because it's anything over, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It takes about 10, 8 hours <laughs> just for it to download. And I already got like 10 other videos ahead of this one to go ahead and um, upload. So it's just like I said, I had a lot of stuff to cover over. And this is my last one I'm doing for this night, this Saturday night. And it's like, um yeah it's like 9 10 in my time <laughs> so i will see y'all later much love and light to you let me go ahead and give a post notification shout out i want you to drop me a line give me a thumbs up share wherever you see fit wherever social media you see fit drop me a line let me know that you know your whatever you want to put on your 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 comment i greatly appreciate it and let me see blessings go out to deep thought uh here and now Wendell Warham, uh, Cynthia from S Nation, and True Blue, much love to you, and love and blessings, and peace, and be wild.